Good afternoon, Auburn family. This is Jeff Gardner, principal of Auburn High. I just wanted to let you know that uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, October 5th, our teachers' grades and grading comments will be uploaded into Skyward. I've been telling the students this for the last few days. Uh, they can start checking their mid-quarter one grades. So we're about four and a half weeks into the semester. One student asked me how far into the year are we? I said about an eighth of the year. And they said, man, that sure went fast. Yeah, the year does go fast. And in the commons, uh, during breakfast time and during lunches, not all the kids eat in there. Some kids eat in the classrooms or library and so forth. But I've been able to present um, parts of this slideshow uh, to students. And also we've asked our teachers in Troy time to present it to them. They may get it at the end of the week. I'm not sure, but it'll be this week. But we're letting kids know the mid-quarter progress report grades are coming up and what to do if you're not passing. And of course, we want all of our students to be passing all of their grades and doing all the things they're supposed to do. But we know the likelihood of that. Um, there's going to be some students with some grades to work on, and that's okay. Um, so what we tell the kids, uh, it's only a snapshot in time where you are right now. And there are self-directed strategies you could use. And that's where I'm asking for, for family help to really... Uh, kind of reinforce the thought that uh, the grades are just temporary right now and you get to do something about them. And if you have a high grade or a grade you thought was better than you thought you would be doing as a student, you know, you should celebrate that and then do everything you can to keep that grade high or to even make it higher. Um, but we ask the kids, or we've been sharing with the students in Troy time and also at lunches and breakfasts, um, there are things you can do. You don't have to sit there and kind of do nothing and, and try to do it last minute. So we've been talking a little bit about success or sharing as it being an effort habit and failure as a mindset. And we're trying to minimize and get rid of all those uh, mindsets that could lead us down the pathway of not getting things done. We shared with our students uh, different things they can do, um, kind of questioning techniques they can ask themselves and ways to go about, you know, emailing teachers, don't give up, there's homework club. Uh, we also have Troy time. We have academic advising every day after school, except for Fridays. And Fridays can be set up with individual teachers. Uh, so we have we have it going on here after school, and we all also have it going on here during our Troy time intervention. So starting on the 11th of October, our students that do have low grades, E's and F's, they're going they're going to be uh, scheduled into a different Troy time. And the expectation is they show up to that Troy time. So if they have a low grade. Uh, remember, it's temporary. They can do something about it. They're going to look at their Troy time schedule and they might see that they're in a different class. And their job is to go to that class and work on that grade until their grade is up to at least a D or maybe even a C. Uh, once they take care of that, they tell their new Troy time teacher, okay, my grade is up. I've taken care of it. And that teacher will then let our Troy time coordinator, Edith Hernandez, let her know that um, you know the student has gotten it up and she may put them back in their regular home Troy, the regular Troy time they've been going to, or if a student has a second low grade, she might send them there. And again, it's going to all be done through Skyward. They just have to check their individual schedules and you can do that too as parents. So what is Troy time intervention? I'm not gonna sit here and read this to you. You can do that. And if you're not an English uh, speaking family first, definitely have your scholars read this to you and explain it. If you have any questions, definitely email me. And then the things that need to get done, you, you get caught up on missing assignments. You ask your teacher for some extra help. You redo graded assignments or tests. You study for upcoming tests and you receive help for projects. Students who do have strong grades and are passing everything, uh, they can stay in their home Troy and they can continue to work on homework uh, some kids just kind of check out. They listen to music. It's a time for their brains to kind of rest. That's fine. Um, but they do need to go to their Troy time. So this is what they'll see. I know this is a lot of information coming at you, but the main thing is that you'll see on this, there's the Troy time, which is kind of their home Troy. It's in yellow there. And then what you see kind of, it should be purple, but it looks gray. That's the intervention class. So this particular student might normally be in room 103 but they might have a low grade in this class and it might be a science class. They're gonna to have to go to 327. They're gonna stay with that teacher until they get their grade up, okay? So I've had the teachers work with the students at Troy time, make sure they understand the concepts of this. We expect kids to be exactly where they're supposed to be. 
and we start this on Tuesday next week. So if your student does have a low grade, we're not going to get upset about it. We're going to say, here's the encouraging things you need to know to do something about this. And we're asking our kids to be self-directed and we're asking our students to follow the plan during the day and then also for the things we have available after the day's over, such as homework club. Okay, so that's the main message. The other message I wanna share is one thing I'm starting to notice, um, and hopefully you can help with this. If you're having a tough time getting your students to school at the start of the day, feel free to contact an administrator, feel free to contact a counselor. We might be able to kind of coach you up on some things you can do. Um, we're noticing that students that start their day on time, you know, they're arriving by 8, 8.05, school starts at 8.10 on most days. The ones that are starting on time tend to do really well. The ones who are showing up late a lot are having a tough time engaging in first period. And I'm really concerned with what that might mean for their first period class. So just some encouragement on that. Uh, if we can get uh, students maybe out of bed a little bit earlier, get them moving in the morning. I know I'm making it sound like that's an easy task. I know it's not, but I think it might help them in the long run. So that's the main stuff. Um, again, if you if your students are doing great, tell them just to keep using their Troy time to keep working on homework, brain break, whatever that might be, but they need to be in class, okay? All right, that's the main things I wanted you to know and have a great evening and I hope your students' grades are, are up to par. Thank you.